Ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul, U.S. Army Combat Veteran, and today we are checking out some absolutely insane helmet cam footage coming out of Donetsk. This is from the 3rd Presidential Independent Regiment of the Ukrainian Military, and well, you know what? I'm just going to break it down for you. This comes to us via the sun. Uh, yeah, and I'm just, I'm just going to let us take a look at it. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the uh, Ukrainian forces. They are in an entrenched position uh, working to repel a Russian attack. And don't worry, YouTube censors. No one here is uh, going to get hurt. Um, it's just some intense stuff. <laughs> Okay, what's interesting is it looks like this, uh, the the cameraman, camera wearer, uh, and the person to his left are both using uh, U.S.-style underbarrel grenade launchers, but not attached to anything. Probably because the grenade launchers are meant to go under an M4, and as you'll see, they're carrying AK-style rifles. So what they are doing is, of course, I, chances are they are returning fire uh, with an, to an enemy that is pretty close. You can see he's got his uh, uh, front sight up, but he is more lobbing grenades in the general direction of the enemy. This is what, when you're trying to gain what's called fire superiority, uh, this is what that looks like. Yep, you notice that in a lot of these areas, right, these entrenched positions, the enemy can get very close. They don't have great line of sight, but you notice they are extremely, extremely effective. Despite just being six foot tall, holes in the dirt, uh, these positions are extremely difficult to dislodge and offer a ton of protection. Offer a ton of protection. You guys hear that artillery round? It was artillery, I think, or possibly mortar rounds. <laughs> okay, it was a little chaotic, but you hear that as these two uh, soldiers withdrew or repositioned. Um, it looks like someone is providing covering fire there, and this grenade... Uh, Grenade launcher uh, is is also providing some covering fire, and wisely because he has friendlies in front of him. He, he right, he's using the grenade launcher. He's not using his rifle. That was a close one. Yeah. Sniper. All right, one of the things that you may be pointing out that I am also pointing out is that you may be like, wow, he's right next to a loaded 50 cal. And no doubt, uh, this is a effect, an effective fighting position. But the danger is that this is also a fixed position. Um, you notice it doesn't have any overhead cover, so whoever gets behind that 50 cal is going to be pretty exposed. And the enemy knows this is a prime location. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the odds are, but there's a good chance that someone knows is going to just listen to the 50 cal, know right where to find it, and it's going to draw a lot of fire. That's why he is instead engaging from another position. And he's doing a great job of keeping himself covered right you can see he's firing bursts of three to five rounds and then getting out of the way before the enemy can uh get a good sight picture on him yep and you can see that's exactly what someone's doing that was maybe like an rpg would be my guess or some other kind of um uh rocket propelled anti-tank type weapon system but you see he engaged and he got noticed and got down and waited the little bit of time for that RPG to pass over. And now he's letting them know they did not clear the position. 
Это не панам. Так вот они в лоб даже заходят. Yeah, this is one of the things where I, I just want to point this out, right? When I deployed, a lot of people ask questions like, uh, uh, you know, did you get any confirmed kills? Guys, this is what it's like, okay? <laughs> Has he done anything? Well, listen, it, it's not essential that, like, he eliminate the enemy, right? Uh, that is incidental to gaining fire superiority, and that's what he's doing here. He's returning fire. He's uh, attempting to gain fire superiority over the attacking enemy force. Um, obviously, uh, eliminating them is important, but right now, they don't need these he doesn't need to be a you know precision sniper he doesn't need a perfect id on where the enemy is you have a distance you have an approximate direction and you put down enough rounds that the enemy cannot for example stand up and continue to advance so this is the and this is the total norm in combat <laughs> Okay, his buddy is like, I'm gonna get on the 50 cal. And he gets on it. You notice as he's getting on the 50 cal, his battle buddy starts putting down more rounds. Right? There he is, he's on the 50 cal. And you did you notice? Did you notice how covered he tried to stay when he was using that 50 cal? Look, he knows that really this was like spray and pray which again is okay that's an when you're trying to gain fire superiority it's okay to not be delivering precision fires do you see he never got out of the trench he was almost shooting it with his arms above his head honestly that is way safer what the fuck? Через поле чешу они. Man, he heard the whistle. He got low. Спасибо. This is sort of surreal even to me, simply because when I was deployed, the Taliban didn't have heavy artillery. They didn't have 155s. You would see mortar rounds sometimes, but they were so bad at it that you almost never felt like you were personally under mortar fire. So this level of indirect fire is bananas to me. <laughs> Trying to tell, I think this is an AK-74, uh, because of this, this aftermarket, like, they obviously switched out the muzzle brake for a suppressor, uh, and they have this really interesting, um, adapter for the EOTech side, I think that's pretty cool. Just a minor D. Oh! Yep, you can see right back there is the grenade launcher. It looks like actually it is an underbarrel grenade launcher, but it's in a configuration. Uh, so you can see it's got its own stock. So I think it's, I believe this model is like interchangeable. It can go under a an existing rifle or it can be used like it's being used here as an independent weapon system. Ah. Oh, 
guys that was some wild stuff i hope you guys got something out of that i hope you actually really did learn something about the reality of war uh you know and and hopefully you understand if you if you don't if you haven't figured out at this point it ain't call of duty uh it's messy it's chaotic um and it is so much more intense than any video game anyway guys uh, of course if you want the combat video breakdowns that are even more intense than this uh they're the all on the patreon right this is probably the upper limit of what youtube will let me show you um so thanks again and of course uh the link is in the description thanks to all my lieutenant tier patrons i'll see you all in the next one